A very important technique in reptile taxonomy is the preparation of the hemipenis. These are the reproductive organs of male squamates, which are always paired. Here, we will demonstrate this technique using an adult male Hunel's chameleon, Triosaurus hunali. Triosaurus hunali is a small chameleon from central eastern Africa. Males can be identified by the pronounced hemipenial bulge at the base of the tail. To prepare the hemipenis, the deceased reptile is held in one hand, while manipulation and preparation are carried out with the other. For left-handed people, it may be convenient to mirror the approach shown here in right-hand view. First, locate the cloaca and the extent of the hemipenial bulges. Pull gently with the holding hand, here the left hand, to expose the cloaca. To make it easier to prepare the hemipenes, it is important to prime them for expression. We do this by exerting gentle pressure at the posterior end of the hemipenial bulge and rolling the fingers or squeezing the fingers in an anterior direction. Here, we can already see the base of both hemipenes being extruded. This will make the preparation much more likely to succeed. Even if this is unsuccessful, however, it is still worthwhile to attempt to prepare the hemipenes in any adult male reptile because there is still a chance that it will succeed and the aversion of the organs is important in taxonomy. To fully extrude the hemipenes, we will first use a syringe filled with water. You can also do this with high concentration ethanol straight away, but it is less forgiving of mistakes. The syringe is inserted toward the back of the hemipenial sac, oriented anteriorly so that the fluid is pushed into the hemipenis. It is useful to apply pressure at the hip joint to ensure that the fluid does not simply fill the body cavity, but is really directed into the hemipenes. Using gentle, constant pressure, fluid is then injected. Notice how, although the syringe is inserted only on the left side, it is filling both hemipenes. This does not always happen. Once satisfactorily averted, the external surface is sprayed with high concentration ethanol. This fixes the organ in place. Then ethanol is additionally added from the inside. Now you can examine the surface structures of the hemipenes. The rotulae are visible toward the acylical edge of the distal tip of the hemipenis. Here, on the left hemipenis, we can see the acylical surface. In many species, it is covered in calices, a network of ridges that have a honeycomb-like structure. Rotating, we can now make out the sulcal surface. The sulcus spermaticus is a groove that transports sperm into the female's reproductive tract, and it is this structure that we use to define the sulcal and asulcal surfaces of the hemipenis. The hemipenis of Triosaurus hunali has two pairs of rotulae on its distal surface, one asulcal, as we've seen before, and one sulcal. Between them is a broadened, flat surface that has a field of papillae, which are best seen under the microscope. Note also that preparation technique differs a little depending on the squamate group being prepared, because lizards that can drop their tails require a little more care during manipulation. This has been an Anatomy Insights short. We hope that you have found this video both informative and interesting. If you wish to follow us on Instagram or on Twitter, we are at anatomy.insights. You can also send us an email at anatomy.insights at gmail.com.